What's up guys, it's Leafy Beats, back with another tutorial. Today's tutorial is going to be all about how to tune your 808 using this free VST, G-Tune, brought to us by GVST. I have them pulled up here, I'll definitely be sure to link them in the description. Alright, so I'm going to go ahead and pull up Fruity Loops. Um, so you're, why you'd want to tune your 808s um, is pretty much so they're easy to program. The long and short of it, I have Lex trunk sample here. Old, old, old Lex Luger <laughs> sample. Um, and your samples, the root note of your sample is, or at least FL believes it to be C. But if I bring up G-Tune here, or actually rather, let me go to the piano roll and then bring the G-Tune. So if I hit C on my MIDI keyboard, you'll be able to see it in the piano roll, and you'll be able to see what G-Tune says the note actually is. So Fruity Loops, when I press C, says that this is a C. So if I were to program my song using this as C, it's actually A, and I can see that over here in G-Tune. So what I want to do, if I go back to my pattern window, I'll bring up the uh, Lex Trunk Saker number 4. I'll go over to the uh, Envelope and Instrument Settings window. And right here where it says root note main pitch, it's highlighted in blue here. I want to go over and wherever G-Tune says my root note actually is. So when I press C, it's at A. So my root note is actually at A. So I'm going to go over to A, right click, my new root note is A. So if I go back to the piano roll and I hit C, it's C. It's really low. <laughs> Let's go up an octave. C. If I hit A, it's A. So you can kind of see over here, you've got like even more knobs and adjustments that you can change. Um, I don't really mess with those, but you definitely can. So let's see if we can go ahead and mess with that a little bit. Let's see what we get. Okay. So if we keep hitting C, we can see that we're about six cents more. Or maybe... takes you know I'm into B it thinks I'm hitting B I went too low if I adjust the pitch I can try and correct for it um and this is why I don't really touch it it's not really that big of a deal honestly as you can see when I reset it it's like within range You see what I mean? You can spend all day fidgeting with this, but that's, according to G-Tune, at least true C calibrated at 440 hertz. Um, so one other thing I want to show you, you can use this with other instruments also. So right now I have G-Tune on my master bus. Let me pull that up. I have G-Tune on my master bus, and so what that pretty much means is that any sound that I play is going to also get processed through G-Tune. So I have Nexus pulled up on insert one, and I have a pretty basic uh, pattern for Nexus, just A, F, D, B, um, and so we'll just see what G-Tune says when we play that. Cool. So Nexus is pretty tuned pretty well. Um, yeah. So that's the long and short of it. Any questions, you know, shoot me a message. Give me a link in the description. Uh, like, subscribe. Take it easy. Peace.